If you're looking for good eats, this is the week for you. Food A Go Go's Restaurant Week kicks off today. That's right. More than 120 different restaurants across the state will be taking part in this week long event with each eatery featuring a special dish or prefix menu. All proceeds go towards supporting the Hawaii Agricultural Public School program statewide. For all of the details, head to k2n2.com. This is an opportunity for you to head back to your favorite spot or maybe try something new like a fried potato, fruity pop, or a yam yam. We're talking about just a few of the menu items at Holy Cow. Yeah, and we sent Dallas Ontiveros down to Pearl Ridge Center to find out all the delicious details. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christina and Kelly, and say holy cow to this right here. Mmm, 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 this looks so good. And like you said, they are in the Food Go Go Restaurant Week doing some good over here. And here joining us on take two, we got James, who's pretty busy behind the counter. Good morning, James. Good morning. So this spot looks very familiar, but there are some changes. Go ahead and tell us an update since the last time we saw you all. Yes, uh, before we are under a um, different name, yeah. uh, which is uh, from other country, a uh, uh, franchise from other country. Now we are running this place our um, own name. Nice. And why the name Holy Cow? Is it because when you look at them, you're like, holy cow? Correct. <laughs> okay, good. You got it. <laughs> awesome. Well, speaking of new flavors, you can already get a glimpse of what they've added on. It's a little bit of savory and sweet from what you're going to try. Take a look at the Fruity Pop, which is wrapped with country, uh, cr cr crunchy fruity rice puffs, to the Flaming Cheetah. This one looks really good right here, which is flaming Cheeto crumbs over spicy mayo sauce. Now, right now, they're actually preparing some right behind the counter. If we could go right behind so we could see all the action being done. But, James, tell us about these new flavors. Where did you come up with them? Yes, we have some uh, new items on the menu. Um, now we are using uh, different stuff outside. Uh, before, we only had a potato, but now we have a... Uh, um, multiple different uh, um, new items, which is sweet potatoes and some, uh, we are using cereal to wrap up the corn dogs now. Now cereal is pretty off the wall for me because eating it with the corn dog, how does that taste like? Is it crunchy? Is it sweet? What's it taste like? Um, it has a, its own flavor, like a pretty fru fruity pebbles, has a, a fruit flavors with a little crunchy sweet uh, flavors into it. And the caramel puff, you know, it's like a caramel, like little sweet. Yeah. It's not that crunchy as like fruity pop, but still very um, tasty flavor. And places like Holy Cow always has long lines, you know, because it's such an experience to try. How many corn dogs or um, Holy Cows do you usually make in a day? A day, I would say about two to three hundred corn dolls per day. And how's the preparation like for that? Do you have to wake up early in the morning like us? Uh, yes, because we have to uh, make a dough daily. Okay. Um, so we are, you uh, make the dough about a couple hours before using. Okay, that makes sense. And you know, since there are always long lines, you guys also do a little bit of delivery with Bite Squad. We do, okay. we do. And the boxes just look like this. If Bob, if you could show them how the boxes look, this is very really convenient for people who want to skip that line. Can they also call in to order? Uh, of course, yes, we do. Okay, nice. Well, also what is going on, this is really cool right here because you're watching this only on a wake up today. They are giving away some free Apple AirPods and I'll let you know how you could win these for yourself. And also there's a special deal for today if you just spend $10 or more. We'll give you the details after this commercial break, but if you want some more information about uh, the, all the activities taking place and all the restaurants participating in this restaurant week, Food Go Go, you can visit our website at khon2.com. Reporting from Holy Cow, Dallas Oneveros, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.